nawe ko ntagiye gutura ahubwo ikibazo binteye nuko bo kwigiza inyuma ico kiringo cy'amatora hanyuma tugaza gutora twese abo twishakira bose bitogeje It's election morning here in Burundi after a number of delays. Last night was actually the most gunfire and the most explosions we've heard since we've been here. It was a, a last act of defiance. There was even singing against the third mandate. Um, but just like in other nights, it's become routine. Uh, we've arrived on a scene in an opposition neighborhood, uh, and there's a body lying in the street. This is our first stop of the day. There's police station here and nearby, but it's definitely, definitely a really tense feeling in the air. Is anybody here planning on voting today? Nobody, nobody's voting today. You know, the protesters here have been repressed pretty brutally and horribly to the point where even if they gather during the day, you know, they're shot at or things are broken up. Right now, they've lined these roads with rocks, uh, but the police are standing by. They seem pretty relaxed, so hopefully things won't deteriorate any further. Police trucks are arriving right now. It looks like a lot of police. They're starting to move in. Things have been pretty calm so far, but a lot of warnings being yelled out by the protesters gathered here. A couple fires burning. Uh, it's a weird atmosphere. It's not even 8.30 in the morning. Um, but it looks like it's setting a precedent for the day to come. Despite some initial excitement when the barriers were being built and the police showed up, uh, things are still pretty calm right here. But we just learned that the person who was killed, who was left here, uh, was a member of the MSD party, which is a major opposition party. And they think he was dropped off here to send a message. So despite the presence of a body and the new barricades being built, things seem pretty calm in Nakabiga. So we're going to head to some of the polling stations and just see what's going on over there. We're at a polling station in Musaga right now. Musaga is well known for being an opposition neighborhood. The polls here are pretty empty. There's a lot of police, military, and poll workers, but there aren't that many voters. There's eight candidates on the ballot. There's the president himself. There's three puppet candidates. There's three candidates who sort of withdrew this weekend and their names are still on the ballot. And there's Agatha Mawasa, who's a main opposition figure, but he himself has been sort of vague about whether he'll accept the results. He's pretty much protesting the election itself. There's not that many people here who are actually voting besides military and police. And the citizens that are voting don't really want to talk to us. It just has the feel of a, a, like a sham, just ghost election. Um, and there's really no information that we can get right now. So we finally found one guy ready to talk to media. You can see how much of a rarity that is. Uh, he was just surrounded by journalists, and we're going to go talk to him right now. So can you just tell us uh, why you voted today and who you voted for? We're at another polling station here uh, in Jabe, which is another neighborhood known for being opposition. Again, it's very empty, mostly poll workers and police. And those people who are voting 
uh, don't seem so proud of it. They're actually over here washing the, uh, the paint off their fingers. We're just gonna pop in the voting station right here and check it out. Can we see? Nobody really, uh, nobody really here. One of the things to remember here is that in the parliamentary elections, the turnout in the city of Bujumbur was a lot smaller than it was in other rural areas. Nonetheless, we're in Kamenge right now, which is you know, a big supporter of the CNDD FDD, the ruling party. And one of the pollsters here just told us that they're really happy with the turnout. They've had quite a few people show up so far. Polling stations are uh, pretty empty from what we've seen. We're not having much luck talking to people. Um, but the body is apparently still out in Nakabiga. People are getting a little more aggressive. Um, so we're going to head back there and see how things are playing out. The Red Cross has picked up the body finally after hours. They're moving it. The song that people are singing is that in Burundi, there's nothing else but weeping. This is actually, this is the most defiant act of protest, the most open act of protest we've seen in a very long time. They just removed a body of an opposition member that was killed. People are singing and chanting and marching right now. The police have definitely tightened up their approach. It does look like some cooler heads are prevailing. Some of the leaders we know from the neighborhood we're pushing people back away from the police, but um, the mood's definitely changed here. So this has been going on for a while right now. Uh, the protesters are dancing, cheering, singing anti anacor and Ziza songs. Uh, there have been a couple of tense moments where it seems like the police are mostly letting them, you know, protest. We don't know how things are going to play out throughout the rest of the day and throughout the rest of the night and over the course of the next few months. But for right now, things are peaceful. <laughs>